Ever find it really annoying to constantly check your Claude Code sessions to see if they need your attention for some reason or the other? Well, let me show you how to use a special configuration feature of Claude Code's settings.json file that will notify you when it's actually needing your attention or it's done. This will allow you to work in parallel and to slowly delegate more work to Claude Code in the same way that you would delegate work to a junior developer. My personal pro tip of using this is layering it with Git work trees. So you have an environment that's completely separate of your current working directory that won't destroy it completely. So let's start with the basics. I'll show you a quick demo of what it looks like to have Claude code to talk to you and tell you that it actually needs your help. So right here, we're gonna go in and I'll give you an example of how that looks like. What's a good hexadecimal color for blue that's not too bright? We're gonna see what happens when this runs. Main Claude code finished. Notice how it ran that. And I'll show you what particular code was ran for that. Main Claude code was finished right here. So Mac comes with a say CLI command that is a speech synthesizer. You give it a string, it plays that string of words through your speakers. In this particular case, I've added another feature which should show a notification, but could potentially be because of terminal permissions and uh, Mac OS weirdness. It doesn't show it because sometimes it does show it, sometimes it doesn't. But the most important part here is that you have this hook right here called stop. Stop in particular is used when your main agent has finished running. Under that, you'll see another one called sub agent stop and another is called notifications. Now, all of these are just hooks. If you look at the Claude code documentation, you can find all the hooks that are events that Claude code emits and you can latch on to those events and act accordingly however you like. I'm using it to use a speech synthesizer, but you could use it purely to run a very specific audio file. Many other different ways of customizing it for your needs. So I'll go ahead and give you a couple more examples of what that looks like. And this helps because now you can work on another task that's productive or not productive, like watching cat videos. For instance, I'm going to run a sub agent here, visit hello.com and tell me what's on there use the fetch tool. So while that's running, I'm going to watch a video in a course that I'm going through for LangGraph. Is somewhat limited. It doesn't Claude it's done. needs your attention. It have access to external there it goes. First of all, it needs my attention. Why? I don't know. But it interrupted me while I was watching the video. Kind of control flow with step before and after that process could have taken 30 seconds it could have taken three minutes it could have taken five minutes it's beautiful because i don't know exactly when it's going to happen now it finished and it alerted me that it finished now the nice thing about changes they are very reliable very extremely useful and especially when you want to create multiple different cloud code sessions and they're all working on different things, you can configure it in such a way that the notification tells you which one in particular needs your attention. So you're not fishing around for which one actually stopped. No, it'll tell you which one you configure it to tell you. So it's super useful for productivity, as you can imagine. I've added a full prompt below. You can just click on that link. It'll go to my website and you can copy that into your settings.json file. If you'd like to see more videos on Claude code, please subscribe and follow. Hope you enjoyed this one.